Hey Glam fam, welcome back. Okay, so Juan's mistress and spoke out. <laughs> She is sick of the lies. So she had this phone interview with this YouTuber, Giorgio Says. So yeah, we're just gonna get into this. Between her and Juan. So without further ado, let's take a listen to what she had to say to me. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Okay, so thank you for doing this. I know we had to move pretty quickly, but hey, like no I hair said, right there. Y'all see him put right his right now, imaginary hair let's behind stick his ear. To what Robin has <laughs> discussed on Patreon and what she discussed on Watch What Happens Live, which is pretty much the same. But so let's start with Robin saying, which you already said, you reached out to Juan, so that is correct, right? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. So you reached out to Juan first, and then he obviously entertained the conversation, as we saw in the DMs that you put forward. And from what Robin said on Patreon was that Juan was not interested, but mainly was just being nice. And so that you had reached out to him, that you had told him that you were coming to Maryland because you were dating a Ravens football player or something like that. Can you talk about that? Because that didn't add up from what Bruh, you said Bruh, he is blowing me with the fake hair. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea where that story came from. It's very confusing. Um, I had no reason to go to Maryland other than to see Juan. And Ooh. how long were you guys talking before you came to Maryland the first time? Um, it was like a good year, I want to say, at least a year, because there was restrictions with COVID, that is true, and there was no crossing the border at the time. Okay, so that part is true, there was strict, I do recall that, so, but yes. once, once the restrictions were lifted, that's when you made the plan to come, but was it that you offered, or was it, was he the one that said, come visit me? Um, it was both. It was definitely both of us. We both wanted to meet each other, and we both were just waiting for the restrictions to be lifted. It was always a plan. It was always in the, in the works. And so you guys didn't just talk via texting or DMs, right? Like, did you guys ever talk on the phone or FaceTime? Yeah, okay. yeah all the time. <laughs> so... When Robin says that, let's let's jump to when you're in Maryland. So you get to Maryland. What was the what was the plan? You got to Maryland, and then what? Um, I was just going to meet him at the hotel and just get settled in. I guess. Well, did she know about Robin? Okay. And so the part where Robin suggests that you called Juan when you, I guess, she said that well. Firstly, she said that you your wallet was stolen in the casino, and then on Watch What Happens Live, she said that you lost your wallet. So this is what prompted you to call Juan. And then but Juan being the good Samaritan. why wouldn't she call her boyfriend from the Baltimore rape? Robin didn't really think her lie through because if she's in town to see her boyfriend, why is she hitting your man up so much? And why is she calling your man when she running out of money and when she need this and when she need that? Why is she not calling her man? And then Juan being the good Samaritan drove to the hotel to put his card down and then left that makes no you sense clarify that? um i don't know what to say to that because i it's just outrageous <laughs> it just sounds stupid like it doesn't make sense you mean it doesn't make sense. yeah it just doesn't make sense any of it so so you and you and juan did hang out when you were here Correct. Okay. So it wasn't he just came and put the card down and left. And was that the was that part of his story then, the part about the casino? Because you didn't say anything about that to me. Um I like I said, this is the first time on Penny. That's probably what he told Robin. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. don't really have I can't say anything because I have never heard of these stories before. Do you feel like Juan gave her the story that she has regurgitated to all of us? Definitely. Okay. And then did Juan ever tell you that there was any sort of like 
real relationship with Robin when you guys started talking or was was that clear to you when you guys were talking like did you know that they were in a like relationship or did it engage very clear that the relationship was for TV like it was for the fans it was a paycheck well um, we knew that and that was just their obligation right and um why is it their obligation just, though why can't robin find another man they needed to do pretty much for tv and he made it clear that he does have that respect for robin but it was not a real relationship there was no it was just so not like a real loving relationship it was just more of co-parenting and you know kind of best buddies so then with that it's clear that he didn't want to tell her the real story for whatever reason even though you would think that they would be fine with it if it's just for tv but um now one last thing she had also mentioned that you sent Juan a request via Zelle or something for four thousand dollars basically I guess insinuating that you were asking for the money in order to not go to the blogs or something to that can you speak on that that's not even enough yeah it's a little outrageous and I wish she would have put more thought into her statement exactly because it was just I stupid. am in Canada. I am a Canadian citizen. And in 2023, we don't have Zelle. We don't accept Zelle. I can't request Zelle. I don't have access to that on my phone. There's other means of sending money um, for Canadians, and Zelle just is not an option. And everybody knows that. So I just think it's once again outrageous and that part i think is interesting because i didn't realize that zell wasn't available in canada but from what you're saying it's not it's never been available so um but so you did not cash but you did not request four thousand dollars from juan no. okay no, did not happen okay and that's then, not even so a lot of money the 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 end of all this where you stop talking to juan that is when you're referring to the friend coming to the door right. and exposing himself. But Robbins claimed that the friend was there in lieu of Juan taking you around. And so the friend was there merely to just kind of take you where you wanted to go, which I think she said you wanted to go to a, a couple of places that also didn't really make sense. Like, why would you come all the way to Maryland just to go to Western mm -hmm. Union? But... Right. Um, so that's not true you did not hang out with the friend at all outside of that inappropriate behavior that he displayed no you did not hang out i never met him in my life um and i had no um pre-existing knowledge that he was coming to the hotel to do what he did and then so once you left that was the very last like you were done with it like whether or not you said it to him in your mind, were you done with this whole situation once that happened? A little bit violated and obviously naive a little bit as well, but into that kind of thing. I don't know. I guess everybody has their own things that they like, but I thought talking with him for a whole year I somewhat did get to know him, and I just, I didn't see that coming at the end. But, no, I and mean, it sounds pretty shocking. I mean, that would be pretty scary, I think, for any. Okay, so, okay, you feel like the relationship was fake. Him and Robin's relationship wasn't real or whatever. Regardless, she is still the one being clayed. She's still the one being shown to the public, so... That's what a side piece is messed up at. They go, oh, that relationship isn't real. They really don't care for them. We'll be okay, but they still care enough to have them in the public as their public girlfriend. So, like, girl, yes, the relationship probably isn't real, but clearly they have decided to stick it out for the kids. So, you can't come between that. So, you actually thinking that this was going to go anywhere? That's your problem. Everybody. Um, and, but, so, all in all, you and, you and Juan absolutely
publicly did hang out and I, I don't I don't want to go into detail, but I would would you say that things went further than just hanging out? Do you know what I'm saying? I don't want I'm not here to uh, like hurt Robin. Sure. I was never so yes. to hurt Robin. <laughs> so yes. Um and uh, like I said, I'm not a malicious person like that. So I, I I'm not gonna get into all those details, but okay. we didn't just he didn't just get me a hotel room to get me a hotel room to say goodbye. Um, right. Well, you know what? Um, I, and I want to clarify this for everyone as well. Um, I wholeheartedly believe that you have the, the most integrity with dealing with this. So I want to send my, like, my hats off to you for that because this is not an easy situation a to have to talk about and then for it to go public and then hear someone i wouldn't say she had the most integrity that are, that are lies so i appreciate you um sticking through it and we'll, i wouldn't go after a man who just you, proposed to somebody else uh, whether i felt like it was fake or not we so just wanted to kind of mm. give rebuttals to what robin said juan told her i don't want to say robin story because this is not her story it's something clearly Juan told her and she's going with it so we're gonna leave it here for right now but is there anything that you want to say to end to end this call or is there anything you want to say to Robin or Juan uh, really I think they should somewhat just admit what happened and leave it at that that's pretty much, I would appreciate that. I'm not a fan of the fake stories and this narrative of things that didn't happen. I don't I don't really understand why she needs to add so many other things in. Uh, it'd be cool if they could just admit it, leave it where it's at, and kind of move on. Be real, speak your truth, but don't add lies in with that. Like, exactly. literally speak your truth. That's what they're both paid to do right on tv the reality stars so that's what andy said that's what andy said so okay then well i really appreciate your time as i mentioned i will continue to keep you enough i just never understood why the woman after getting cheated on they help the man cover up the lies. Like, <laughs> in the end, it's, it's making you look stupid. Like, this is making you look dumb. He didn't got away with his cheating. Everybody know the mistress not lying. You're the only one sitting here in denial, acting like he didn't do nothing. Everybody knows you're lying. It just makes you look silly. I couldn't imagine having to constantly cover up my man cheating and, and come to the public and lie and act like he not cheating. I don't think she would have said anything if Robin didn't if, if Robin didn't repeat that ridiculous story <laughs> on national television, even if that's what Juan told you, you have sense. Now you piss the mistress off, now she's telling everything. You didn't even, honestly, she didn't even have to go with details about the lady. She could have just said, you know, Juan cheated, we moved past it. But instead, she chose to be one of those women who get more mad at the woman than the man. So she tried to embarrass the girl, came up with this crazy story. So of course she's going to come out and defend herself. But all you had to do was say yes, Juan cheated and left it at that. You didn't have to bring this young lady up at all. But yeah, those are my thoughts on that. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about that in the comment section down below. Stay happy, healthy, and all of that good stuff. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.